Those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. This is Success with Srini. This is an audio podcast, but recently, a few weeks ago, we turned this audio podcast into a video podcast. Podcasts were always designed to be audio, but then because there is a lot going on on YouTube, you know, I decided why not I take all the podcast episodes I'm doing and turn them into video. So we attach a bunch of videos to the audio and release them on YouTube. And because I'm spending a lot of time on YouTube lately, I have been watching a lot of videos on YouTube also. So I came across a video uh, talking about the economy and the stock market and job market and all that. And I was watching the video and the top comment on that video was from someone saying, I was having three jobs. I just got laid off from two. And this puts me in a paycheck to paycheck situation. I have more expenses now and then I need to catch up on my bills. This is not me. I'm a hardworking individual. I don't know what's happening with me. I read that comment, that question. And I wanted to respond to it. And I wanted to provide a recovery plan for this individual. But then I decided, why not I record a podcast? Because this question might be coming up within many people. And this could be of help. Maybe that was my thought. So here I am recording today's podcast. And this is going to be turned into a video. And I'll post it on my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to respond to this individual with the link to the video. Okay, that's the idea. So let's get into this. If you are encountering a problem or you're in a situation where your money is going away or maybe your job is going away or maybe you are kind of moving from one situation to the other and there are challenges that you're experiencing, what can you do and how will you redefine yourself? That's the message on today's podcast. There are three specific things based on my understanding and my experience. There are three things that needs to happen for any individual to turn their life around and specifically within the context of money. The first and the foremost, there are three things that have to happen for any individual to turn their life around. And this has nothing to do with the money discussion here. It applies to any aspect of life. First one is a logical choice you have to make. The second one is a physical choice you have to make or mental, physical, mental, both. And the last one is a spiritual choice. And I'm going to walk you through all these three things step by step. So let's get into this. The first part, which is the logical part, is you need to decide to be renewed. You need to decide that I want a new version of me. I want to renew myself. That's the decision you have to make. And that is the logical part. Logically, you have to arrive there. And as a part of that, once you decide that you want to renew yourself, there are two questions you have to ask. The first and the foremost question is, who is the hero? Who is that individual who I want to emulate? Who has the values and beliefs that I think can turn my life around. There are many, take any field, any area, there are hundreds and thousands of experts and gurus and people who have succeeded. They don't call themselves as gurus or experts. These are people who had probably a bad story or a story that was very hard and miserable and they completely turned it around and they now have a life that is remarkable and that you would like to emulate that because success always leaves traces. It's easy to trace success. Of course, behind every success is hardship and heartburn and losses, all that. But you get the idea. Now, whoever this hero is and whatever their values are, once you subscribe to that, the next question is that who has the life that I want? That's also a question. Who has the life that I want? And what can I do to get it? So this question also is modeling. So you look at somebody's life, you see what they have, 
they have the right values they have the right beliefs they may not be the heroes the hero is a different example altogether but these are the people that you have in your close proximity already they have the life they have the happiness they have the joy they have the fulfillment they have the excitement they may not be rich that's a whole different discussion but you get the idea so they have a life that you would like to have why not model them so these two questions you have to ask this is a logical part then comes the physical slash mental part mostly mental okay and this is called the work ethic inside work ethic there are a few things the first and the foremost thing that you got to become positive there is a lot of negativity it's natural it's hard when you are in a situation like this where you are living paycheck to paycheck money is going away there is nothing left and you don't have a direction you don't know what's going on it's natural for negativity to set in but you got to, you are decided logically that you want to renew yourself as a step number 1 so step number 2 as a part of your work ethic is that you got to become positive you have to think positive you have to get rid of procrastination you got to bring back focus and discipline and you need to set daily goals i have done numerous podcasts if you're watching this on youtube numerous podcasts here and also on my podcast also my audio podcast numerous episodes talking about goals goal setting daily goals all that focus concentration determination all that so those things have to come in but then there is something else as a part of work ethic which is called the setup mindset every time you do something new you are going to encounter failures you are going to encounter setbacks you are going to encounter some unknowns your job every time you encounter that your job is to tell yourself that this is set up this is set up i'm setting it up it's okay i'm setting it up every time i encounter a difficulty it's a set up for me today's podcast is second take by the way the first time i recorded today's podcast my computer stopped in the middle i was speaking without looking at my screen and it was i thought it was recording it did not so the way i came back into it is by telling myself that this is a setup so as a part of setup things could go wrong so you have to go back and if you raise everything and start from scratch that's what i would do as a part of work ethic and i do that relentlessly and then the third part is the spiritual side i don't know anybody can achieve anything i mean people do set money goals people set different goals but they achieve but then i have seen this i don't know and i was talking to my friend the other day he also mentioned this to me when you don't set spiritual goals and achieve them then for some reason the other goals seem like there is some gap somewhere there is some vacuum there is some disconnect somewhere the other goals really do not come true to true fulfillment i don't know that's what i feel that's what i've seen my friend tell me also so we were debating uh, discussing this but there has to be a spiritual angle to this so as a part of your spiritual angle you kind of bring in a certain level of enthusiasm into everything that you be, you'll be doing as a part of your renewed you or new version of you two things here also the first and the foremost is an attitude of gratitude that you wake up in the morning saying hey i'm given this day what can i do that i woke up this morning in this body with this identity with these emotions these feelings that they were there yesterday so you are today that you were yesterday so it is a blessing so an attitude of gratitude is how you start and then the second part of the spiritual element is that you want to be putting yourself in a position where you are going to be inspiring others now let's go back to this question for a second this individual saying that i live now i live paycheck to paycheck i have debt that i need to catch up with and this is not me and why this happening to me who have i become all that when i said you got to inspire others what i mean by that is this individual has to become something so that others get inspired i hope you get the point so that is the level of responsibility this individual has to bring in 
if you are doing this that's how you know that everything before that whatever you did was right see sometimes you do the right thing but you don't know if it was right or wrong it only becomes right when others right get influenced by the deeds your deeds and your work and that's when you know that yes whatever you did you indeed do it the right way so these are the three things that i would focus on doing if i have to renew myself from a situation like this hopefully for you you're listening this on the podcast maybe watching this on youtube hopefully i'm hoping that this is helpful if it is let me know wherever you are be safe stay positive and i will catch up with you tomorrow and now i'm going to produce this podcast and turn it into video and post it and reply to that comment thank you